Good afternoon. Um, this is Jack from the Archie.net, and I'm doing a special intraday webinar looking at the bull flag set up here on SPX, likely bull flag that is. Um, and our disclaimer, we do this for educational purposes only. We're here to share our technical analysis with you. We hope you can take some of what we've learned from, transfer your own charts, and are here to issue trading supports. Obviously, it is the afternoon of Tuesday, the 20th of April. Right, um, looking at the um, thing on SPX here, when we were reaching this low, I said that my concern, I said to Stern, was that um, I wasn't really seeing um, an obvious trend line. We sort of saying that before we got down there. Once we did get down there, I found a channel. So what I'd normally expect to see in this circumstance is a decent looking bull flag of some kind. You don't always get it, but you usually do. And this is such a bull flag. It is a nice one. What is the short term pattern? Well, this looks like a triangle forming that's likely to lead to retest the low. That may or may not be today. Um, and um, we'll see. Um, and we've got an overall bull flag channel. I've got resistance. Um, let's say in about the 4129 area, I think. Um, that's where resistance is. If we see yes much over um, 4130, um, then we may be breaking up from the flag and be on the way back to retest the high already. Now, what have we got here already? Well, we've already got a five minute bicycle that fixed yesterday. This is, we didn't already have one. Another one would have fixed there. Um, and that is, uh, that is playing out at the moment. On the 15 minute chart, um, we don't have any positive divergence here because this is a higher low because this is probably a triangle that we're forming at the moment. Um, we will see how that goes. Uh, someone's got their camera on apparently. Um, don't know if that's got rid of the camera. Uh, we'll see. Anyway, so um, on the 15 minute chart, we don't have a 15 minute buy signal and we don't have any divergence on the 60 minute either. Um, but we could get it, and it wouldn't be hard to get. Um, and um, but what it would need is another retest of the low um, to set up positive divergence on the RSI five. We wouldn't get it on the RSI fourteen, but we have had the RSI fourteen sell signal has now made the possible near miss target. So we will see. Um, I'm liking this area for a bounce. Um, we are in a potential head and shoulder neckline. Potentially, we could just bounce up into the 30 or 40 area and just fail down and do another leg down towards, well, really the target would be 4,000 then. I'm not seeing a good case for doing that yet, and this does look like bull flag. Um, so I'm leaning towards seeing that break up. Let's have a look at the other ones. Now, have we got a bit of positive divergence there already? Not quite, I don't think, because we didn't quite retest the low. Um, on NQ. Um, we've still got the same positive divergence we had this morning. Obviously, there is a slight red flag here because, of course, we're breaking down from a double top. Obviously, we're in the inflection point where we can either break down towards the target, which would be in the 13500 area, or reject back up towards the high, which is the uptrend we are favouring. RTY. Um, RTY has gone down considerably. We had positive divergence there this morning, and we lost it. Um, so um, it has gone. So uh, we haven't got any positive divergence there. We might be able to develop some. Obviously, this double bottom is now in play. We rejected straight back into the low. So um, we will do. It's, uh, apologies, my phone is being blown up by a family discussion. So um, so we will see how that goes. YM. YM's made the target, um, and I think we've got some positive divergence here. I'm really looking for a low not too far from, away from here if we are forming a bull flag. And I'm liking the SPX one. If we open above it tomorrow, then I will be treating that as a breakup. Although at that stage, we could still retest the hopes. Apologies for this, guys. Uh, um, sorry, we're just having a blizzard of text. Um, so, um, are we getting down to some potential support here too that could be a head and shoulder neckline? Yeah, we are. Um, we've got positive divergence here. We've got it on NQ. We could easily get it on um, on um, ES and we could easily get it on RTY and we may get it on both. Um, let's have a quick look at IWM because I've had a request to look at that. Um, IWM, we've got, obviously this has been, let's actually have a look at Dow as well, because um, both of these have really been on a very different path. Um, Dow, on the 15 minute, we've already got a 15 minute buy signal. Do we have a 60 minute buy signal? We might have one on the RSI 5, a weak one, and we've gone slightly through the obvious trend line support. Um, NDX, um, sorry, IWM, 
Um, IWM, I don't think we've got a 15 minute bicycle. I might be mistaken. I'm not. Like we've got the high and low, like we've got with um, SPX so, and ES. So at the moment, there is no divergence. On the 60 minute chart, we could easily set up some divergence, but we haven't yet. Um, we could see a bit more of a bounce, um, and if we were to see a bit more of a bounce, then hang on. Then obviously, um, heading off to this trend line resistance wouldn't be a bad place to go, or to fail at this triangle resistance. But the other thing is, this triangle is forming as a triangle at the moment, but it would be very easy for it to turn into a flag channel, and you'd quite often see it do that. And if it did that, that would look like that. And obviously, um, might allow us a decent touch and reversal at camel resistance. We will see. It looks as though those two, um, the two are likely to intersect before the end of the day, and we may actually end the day um, with that touch or just beforehand. Um, we will see. Um, my concern would be um, that we might just see this break up um, overnight. It just you know it takes forty one thirty converts it and heads higher. That happens regularly, um, and we do see you know we call that like gradient gap. And we sort of gap up into tomorrow morning. Uh, we will see how that goes. It's um, yeah, we will see how that goes. So, but that's where we are on the flag. Um, this is where we stand right now, and uh, likely this is a bull flag. Likely it is going to um, hold the forty one hundred area, and likely we are going to see a retest of the high. We the second high bit up top when we get there, and although it doesn't have to be. Um, but I'm hoping to get a nice 60 minute bicycle and 15 minute bicycle at the low tomorrow with a retest. That low with that retest would likely be in RTH tomorrow rather than today because we're running out of time for today. All right, any more questions, guys? Sorry, uh, my um, family are still texting on. It's uh, anyway, any more questions? No, in that case, that's a wrap. Um, I will get this posted as soon as possible, and I'll catch you guys um, tomorrow. All right. Cheers, guys.